everything out of the box. And so this gives you a good reference point on where to start off. Now, typically for NVIDIA cards, you can start off with 900 millivolts. And for the 50 series, you can target something like 2900 megahertz and work your way from around there. So what you want to do is grab the 900 millivolt point and raise it to 2900 megahertz and then press enter. Next, what you'll want to do is hold shift and hold right click from that point and bring your cursor over all the way to the right. So this will select everything on the curve from that point you selected and onwards. Then you hold shift and press enter twice and then this will flatten your curve. So now when you run the benchmark or any game, the card is going to run at this voltage and target this frequency. It's not going to be exactly 2900 megahertz. There will be a bit of variance depending on temps and the type of workload. Now I urge you to play around with this and find a sweet spot for your graphics card or what you think is a good point that gives you the performance that you're looking for and to also save a bit of power. I've seen people report that they could do 3100 megahertz at 925 millivolts. Some people settle for something really aggressive like 850 millivolts at 2600 megahertz and this